Hello everyone, my name is Anam Shiraz and you are joining me in the course Wireless Census Networks with ESP32. This is the course overview video in which I'm going to walk you through what are we going to learn throughout the course. A bit about myself, I've done being honors in electronics engineering then first class master's degree in computer science from Royal Holloway University of London. I have good experience in many system design, software design, architecture, cloud computing and AI. Currently, my role in the industry is as software engineer. Other than that, my major interests include control and automation, full stack web development for real time applications, asynchronous programming, wireless census networks, robotics, and IoT. For all of my previous and recent activities, please follow me on my LinkedIn, YouTube, and GitHub account. The general principles based on which I've structured this course are mostly around computer science, distributed networks, logarithms, and network protocols and some mathematical modeling based on graph theory, correctness and performance proofs. We will focus on real world applications by realizing the issues between the theoretical and the practical part of the projects. So this course will be structured in six sections. In the first one, we will be going through the definitions and the architecture of wireless sensor networks, along with our detailed notes on how and where it is being used. Also a bit of comparison between wireless sensor networks and ad hoc networks. Section two will be all about graph theory, questions like what are graphs and why do we need them in wireless sensor networks. We will be looking at the definitions of simple, complete, regular, subgraph, line graph and directed graphs and a lot more. Some of the properties like graph connectivity and reachability, weighted graphs, tree and spanning tree graphs, and also its useful applications with examples like finding shortest path using Digistra algorithm. Section three will be about data collection and data routing protocols. We will be mainly focusing on floating, tree-based and gossip logarithms and we will study and compare the performance of all of these three collection and routing protocols in wireless census networks. Then continuing to section four, in which we are going to study about the peer-to-peer -peer networks, understanding its difference from client and server model, and then we are going to build up a sensor node and do some nodes unit testing. So this is how our sensor node will look like, which will be capable of recharging module and fully fitted with the battery that can at least last for a few days. And also designing and constructing the peer-to-peer -peer network based on painless mesh protocol. Continuing to section 5, in which we are going to carry out two major projects, mainly focusing on the floating and converged cast, which is the combination of floating and reverse broadcast. We will apply this converged cast project based on spanning tree, as you can see on the left. And on the right, I have the graphical diagram of how we will structure our nodes during carrying out the floating project. In section 6, we are going to carry out our last project, which will be based on gossip logarithms called voter model. This will be a very interesting one in which we are going to also study about the probability theorems and Poisson distributions. A snapshot of one of the take from voter models gossip logarithm based project where the nodes compete with each other based on their opinions and finally have to reach consensus on a single and common opinion. So by the end of the course, you will be able to architect the census networks for various application setups you will understand how to model a census network using graph theory. You will understand different types of data flows and routing protocols in wireless census networks. Explore the design space and conduct trade-offs analysis between performance and resources. You will also be able to design and implement multiple census networks nodes using ESP32 as well as ESP8266 to construct a fully distributed wireless network. You will be able to design logarithms for distributed data aggregations and evaluate the performance of logarithms on different topologies of the network. So that is all for the overview of the course. I'll be looking forward to see you joining me in the exciting journey of this course. Thank you so much.